body. And for the residents of Miami-Dade, getting your COVID-19 vaccination is an important part. Yeah, Help yeah. everyone stay safe as we continue to fight the spread. And we can protect those most vulnerable around us. With easy access to vaccination locations and the growing ability for more people yeah. to be protected, it's our best shot oh, to keep sure, moving yeah, forward. For sure. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. For more information, visit miamidade.gov slash vaccine. Welcome to the Frost Jazz Hour here on WDNA 88.9 FM here this final Thursday of April. I'm your host, Philip Capuzzi, with you every Thursday from 11 a.m. until 12 noon as we bring in some of the premier ensembles from the Frost School of Music as well as some of those uh, students and faculty who are currently or uh, previously affiliated with the school bringing in some of their own situations uh, here this morning. Uh, we're very, very honored and pleased to have with us uh, John Yarling and the New Music Ensemble, alongside John Yarling, of course, on drums, and he's joined by Marty Quinn on upright bass and Connor Rohrer on piano. Uh, very much looking forward to this program, featuring mostly the music of Alan Pasqua uh, and then a few tunes from Peter Erskine. Um, so before we get into it, I do want to mention that we are now open to people coming physically into the Jazz Gallery for the show, which, of course, for the past couple of years, uh, we've refrained from doing so out of the concern for public health, but now we are opening back up to the public. So if you want to come into the Jazz Gallery here uh, at our studios on Coral Way and, and sit in on these Thursday morning programs, you're more than welcome to. We'd love to have uh, some more people in here uh, listening to the music in the gallery. Uh, so with that said, let's get into the music. The first tune they have ready for us here this morning is entitled Barcelona. Uh, like I said, I'm Philip Capuzzi. This is WDNA 88.9 FM, and you're listening to the new music ensemble on the Frost Jazz Hour.
John Yarling, Marty Quinn, and Connor Rohrer on drums, upright bass, and piano, respectively. Gracing your eardrums here on the Frost Jazz Hour here this fine Thursday morning. You're listening to WDNA 88.9 FM, or perhaps you're on WDNA.org, our audio live stream uh, available across the globe. Uh, and if you're unaware, we also have a video component to these programs that you can check out on Livestream.com, uh, as well as YouTube.com, our YouTube channel, WDNA Radio. Uh, for all those live streams of the FIU Music Hour, the Frost Jazz Hour, Jazz Encounter series, which has been starting up again recently, uh, and all the programs as well automatically archived into our YouTube channel. So if you want to peruse the massive library of different incredible performances that have occurred here in the Jazz Gallery, uh, I really highly recommend going and subscribing to WDNA Radio on YouTube uh, to check out some of that stuff. Um, so, that last tune, like I mentioned, entitled Barcelona, a uh, part of this set, which features uh, mostly the compositions of Alan Pasqua and a few uh, from Peter Erskine, both of them West Coast cats uh, associated with the USC Thornton School of Music uh, at the time being. Uh, and actually, uh, it's funny because there's a connection there. Uh, Marcello Corelli, for any of you guys who listened to the program through last year, he was hosting the Frost Jazz Hour here and stepped away from Miami to go across the other side of the country to, to study at USC Thornton. So just a little bit of a, a, of a cool connection there. Um, so with all that said, I think we're just going to continue on with the music. Uh, they're going to perform another Alan Pasqua composition uh, entitled Acoma here on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour.
A Coma as composed by Alan Pasqua and performed here on the Frost Jazz Hour by John Yarling on drums, Marty Quinn on upright bass, and Connor Rohrer rounding out this wonderful trio on uh, piano here this fine morning. Thanks so much to everyone for tuning into the program so far. I'm your host, Philip Capuzzi, with you from 11 a.m. until 12 noon for this program, uh, the Frost Jazz Hour, every Thursday morning. Uh, and I do want to mention that we are now opening up the gallery uh, for physical presence from different listeners here during the show. So if you want to come into uh, our studio on Coral Way and sit in on uh, one of these programs, uh, you're more than welcome to. Some of the upcoming programs that are very exciting uh, next week, uh, Martin Bejarano will bring in his piano trios ensemble. Very excited for that. One of the newer uh, ensembles at the Frost School of Music. And then after that, three weeks of uh, people who... Uh, individuals in the South Florida scene who have been connected with Frost, uh, so not a Frost ensemble, but very, very excited for Ben Beal on the 12th, Nicole Garcia, who's very near and dear to us here at WGNA, uh, hosting the Tuesday Latin Jazz Quarter as of recently. She'll be here on the 19th, and then Lucas Apostolaris uh, will be coming in at the end of May on the 26th, and then it keeps going from there. Noah Macover, Jason Charos, Valentina Shelton into June, uh, but <laughs> some really exciting programs here on the, on the Frost Jazz Hour, and you can come in and see them live uh, if you uh, want to experience them in the moment. Uh, and as always, of course, you can listen on WDNA.org as well as 88.9 FM, and you can check out the video live stream on livestream.com and uh, youtube.com at our, at our channel, WDNA Radio. So with that, before we step forward in the program, I, I wanted to, to ask uh, John Yarling a few questions here on the, ar on the air. John, thanks so much uh, again for, for being here and uh, bringing in um, these wonderful musicians and, and playing some music for us here uh, this morning. Well, thanks for having us. Of course, yeah, of course, it's a great honor. So I, I like to ask this question to, to those that I, that I interview for the first time, uh, just because it's something that I'm very, very curious about. But what was your journey to the music? What brought you to being so invested in music and eventually becoming such an established performer and, and educator? What, what's the root that you would say of that? Uh, well, it's a, it's a big one, but <laughs> it seemed at, at the time when when I was heading uh, off to college that um, I was kind of looking at everything, all my options and my possibilities, and I went, well, looks like the only good one is music. <laughs> and you'll like it, so you better follow that path. But actually, I went to school to be a classical percussionist, and then that changed after about a year and a half, and I changed back over to focusing on the drum set. Uh, and then it was, you know, just music that I had heard in those years that I wanted to kind of pursue and follow and see if I could get involved with playing, and it took me through a whole bunch of other kinds of things, jazz, non-jazz, all kinds of music. Absolutely, yeah. A and you mentioned uh, your time studying classical percussion, which I wanted to ask about as well. Um, do, do you feel as though that still influences any of your sonic conceptions or educational style? And what, what's your relationship with that? Yes. Well, actually, I still play timpani um, mm. in a community orchestra. So I love the music. And uh, yeah, it does. And it's funny because it didn't really kick in the connection between the classical world and the jazz world until maybe the mid-late 80s, early 90s, when I started to see those two worlds starting to come together in the more modern kinds of ways of improvisation and jazz, um, when they started to meld and combine a bit. And my interest these days, as far as teaching stuff, focuses primarily on stuff, the jazz or improvisational music that's happened. Some people call it jazz, some people don't. Uh, over the last 30 years, 35 years, that's kind of where I focus. Right, right. A and to that end, do you have any specific methods or philosophies that you kind of hold when you approach uh, teaching kind of within that idiom or, or in general? Mostly it's just about exposing younger people to different ways to improvise, different ways to play, different ways to think about music. Um, a lot of times the, the common path follows a kind of a paradigm in jazz education and there are a few schools that, that look outside of what that is. I felt like there was a gap in jazz education, and I wanted to try to fill some of that by focusing on these other things. So, um, you know, some students take to it and some don't. You're challenging them to do things they've never done before at right. a time when they're just starting to be able to 
kind of wrap their heads around doing some things well, a lot of times they're not always that anxious to get thrown into the deep end of the pool and start right. over trying to you know learn to play different ways and improvise in different ways. Right, yeah, and, and you kind of alluded to it, but do you have any specific kind of goals that you set out for your for your percussion students or for any of your ensembles year to year? Is it kind of vary depending on the, the, the different the circumstances? The drum set students, it's mostly just try to see areas that they f that they might be deficient. There might be deficiencies, and try to help them to build those up. As far as ensembles go, it's more just about exposing people to things and see if they if they take to it or not. You know, right. But when I find younger musicians that do then you know I like to try to engage them and we actually have a gig coming up next week where we're playing some challenging some challenging music different than this so nice w where and when uh, we're at the fish house next Wednesday and we're playing the music of a bassist who I think teaches at McGill but I'm not sure he's a, 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 in Canada named Pete Johnston so we're playing his mm. his stuff a lot of times I reach out to composers and I would say hey I like your music I'd like to you know I'll buy it if I have to, and many times they're like, I'm so happy anyone's interested in my music, I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cool, that's awesome. Yeah, so you guys heard it here first next Wednesday at the Fish House. You guys can go check out the same ensemble performing uh, the music. And Mark you Small will be joining us. Oh, wow, yeah. awesome. Yeah, Mark Small is the best. Mark Small is the best. Really excited for that. Uh, yeah, thanks so much. We'll maybe speak a little bit later in the program as well, but I appreciate you sharing all those perspectives. Um, so, uh, as we move forward with the program, the next tune that you guys have set, uh, yet another Alan Pasqua composition, which is the focus of uh, this set here from these wonderful players, for any of you listeners just joining, a few Peter Erskine tunes coming later in the set. Uh, but for now, coming up next on the Frost Jazz Hour, A Sleeping Child. <laughs>
John Yarling, Marty Quinn, Connor Rohrer, live and direct on WDNA 88.9 FM from our jazz gallery here on the Frost Jazz Hour every Thursday from 11 a.m. until 12 noon and uh, welcoming back in people live into the studio now for the program. So if you want to come check out uh, one of the upcoming shows, thank you so much to uh, our live studio audience here this fine morning. And, and if you'd like to be uh, in the audience in the future, just feel free to stop by the uh, studio on Coral Way for one of the uh, future shows, which are always Thursday mornings from 11 a.m. until 12 noon, the Frost Jazz Hour. Um, so with that, we're going to step aside for some important messages from the station and come right back with more music live from the Jazz Gallery here on the Frost Jazz Hour. to the Frost Jazz Hour here on WDNA 88.9 FM. I'm your host, Philip Capuzzi. Thanks to everyone for tuning into the program so far. We still have quite a bit of music left to go. We're uh, absolutely honored to have John Yarling here in the gallery performing alongside Marty Quinn and Connor Rohr on drums, upright bass, and piano, respectively, uh, performing the music of Alan Pasqua and Peter Erskine. Uh, and um, we're going to step now into two Peter Erskine compositions, first On the Lake, uh, and then after that, the music of my people, uh, starting off with three tunes from Alan Pasqua. Uh, so without further ado, let's step back into the music On the Lake here on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. Thank you. 
on the Lake performed live and direct here on the Frost Jazz Hour. John Yarling on drums, Marty Quinn on upright bass, Connor Rohr on piano. Thanks so much to everyone for tuning in uh, to this point in the program. It's been a great pleasure to listen to this music live from the Jazz Gallery, which you can also do. You can come into the Jazz Gallery now as we reopen after a long period of closing our doors out of concern for public health. We're now reopening and allowing uh, an audience to come into the studio during these programs. So if you'd like to come experience it in the room as live as it can possibly be, then you can come uh, to the Jazz Gallery uh, for any of our future programming, which next week Martin Bejarano will bring in his Piano Trios Ensemble, followed by on May 12th, Ben Beal, after that Nicole Garcia, and then closing out the month of May, Lucas Apostolaris here on the Frost Jazz Hour. And also I'd like to mention if you have it within your means to support the station, support live programs like these, uh, and support all of the unique programming that we broadcast on a day-to-day -day basis here at WDNA, you can go to WDNA.org. You can donate securely. It's also tax deductible. Of course, tax season has passed unless you filed for an extension, uh, but regardless, it is indeed tax deductible. <laughs> uh, and you can really go so far to support WDNA. A large portion of our operating budget uh, is from listener contributions. So uh, if you do have it within your means, it would mean a lot to all of us here at the station if you're able to contribute. Any amount goes so far. But if you do contribute $60 or more, you become a sustaining member, which comes with a number of perks uh, like discounted access to some of our live events, especially as we start to step more into uh, back into event programming here at WDNA. That's uh, going to be very uh, enticing for you all. So once more, WDNA.org to donate. Uh, you can really make a difference by uh, supporting the station. So with that, we're going to continue on with another Peter Erskine composition here from this set featuring his compositions alongside those of Alan Pasqua. Uh, this next tune entitled The Music of My People here on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour.
Music of My People, composed by Peter Erskine, live and direct here on the Frost Jazz Hour, WDNA 88.9 FM. As we approach the conclusion of the program, I wanted to thank everyone once again for tuning in to this point, whether it be on 88.9 FM, WDNA.org, or the video live stream on Livestream.com and our YouTube channel, WDNA Radio. Uh, also, to mention it once more, we are welcoming back a live audience into the gallery for these programs, so if you want to come check it out uh, in the moment, in the room, you can come next week for Martin Bejarano as he brings in the piano trios, as always, Thursday from 11 a.m. until 12 noon, or any of the following weeks for Ben Beal, Nicole Garcia, or Lucas Apostolaris. Some really, really exciting programming uh, coming up in these, uh, in these coming weeks. So before we get into this last tune, uh, John, I just wanted to ask, uh, is there anything that you have, and I know you mentioned this gig that you guys have next week coming up, but is there anything else you'd like to, to speak about or, or point the, the listeners to, any projects in the works, uh, anything to that effect? Uh, no, you know, I have sporadic things coming up here and there. I'm usually at uh, Lanyap one night a month, it, usually it's a Monday or Tuesday, and the Fish House occasionally here and there, and then some other projects. I still work with Nikki Yarling, we do some stuff. And Marty and I play with Nikki usually whenever she has something. So if you see her playing somewhere, you'll pro we'll probably pop up. Awesome. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks so much. Uh, so without further ado, getting into this last tune, they'll step back into Alan Pasqua for a composition of his entitled Diminishing Returns here on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour.
John Yarling, Marty Quinn, Connor Rohrer.